Hi everyone. Um, as part of your design and technology GCSE revision, I just want to put together a short presentation on uh, on CAD CAM. Uh, the reason for this is it's something that comes up every year. Uh, it's something that I, I'm pretty sure you're going to be tested on again this year, uh, and you need to know about uh, the different aspects of CAD CAM, what it stands for, advantages and disadvantages, etc. So if we just start by um, talking about what it actually stands for. Computer Aided Design, Computer Aided Manufacture. So Computer Aided Design is basically uh, designing on the computer. And now you've done that actually from a very early age, even from right back when you were, you know, in, in nursery even, they use computers, very simple programs like paint, just to draw various pictures and color them in. Uh, and that is computer aided design. We use uh, 2D design tools, Techsoft's uh, 2D design tools. Uh, you can use AutoCAD, uh, Adobe Illustrator. There's many, many uh, different pieces of software on the market. Uh, 3D modeling software, so uh, Google SketchUp, Pro Desktop, Pro D, uh, SolidWorks. Uh, are all 3D modeling software that you can use. So computer aided design is about designing your product on the computer. Computer aided manufacture is when you have a, a manufacturing uh, machine that's directly linked up to your computer and it will read the drawing and it will manufacture or make that particular item for you. So computer aided design, computer aided manufacture. Now in schools there are three types of CAM or three types of computer aided manufacturing systems that we use. The first I'm going to talk about is the, the knife cutting system. Right at the bottom end we have a very simple uh, sticker machine uh, which is relatively cheap to buy. Going up to the more expensive machines, uh, this is a GX24 which is a, a, a much larger knife cutting machine with a, an optical alignment system inbuilt in it as well. There's actually a separate tutorial video that I've put together with how to use the Opus or the optical alignment system. So advantages of, of knife cutters then, they are relatively cheap. Um, the bottom end, the sticker machine, you're looking at the price of a good printer really. So. Um, uh, 250 pounds uh, going right up to two and a half three thousand pounds for a really uh, really good knife cutting uh, machine the GX24 that we've got in school uh, that's about 1300 pounds uh, so quite expensive but they do start uh, a relatively cheap price uh, they're quite versatile, you can do lots of things with them. Um, most schools just use them for making stickers but you can use them as plotters uh, you can get uh, uh, iron-on vinyl or flock lettering for, for cutting out various designs to be ironed on to t-shirts and uh, other um, uh, textiles. Uh, you can get uh, Ceramicon transfers, so you can put transfers onto to mugs. You can get etch resist pens, so you can produce uh, printed circuit boards for electronics. So it has lots and lots of different uses. Uh, it has the optical alignment system, the OPA system, as I've mentioned before. Uh, have a look at my tutorial video on that to see how that works. Uh, it gives a very professional outcome. It just looks really, really nice. So that's an advantage. Disadvantages. The blade does blunt quite quickly, especially if you're cutting uh, certain types of material. Uh, the materials and blades are quite expensive uh, you also might need to replace the bed strip on the machine if your blade goes through the material and cuts into the bed strip uh, as soon as that bed strip gets a, a, a groove on it it will um, it will actually snap the end of the blade off as it rotates in the in the bed strip so it needs to be uh, replaced quite often so it is quite expensive uh, for materials uh, you do need a little bit of training you need to know how to use it so that's a disadvantage. Let's have a look at some uh, examples. So in school we've done some packaging work, either cutting it out and colouring it in by hand or using the optical alignment system by uh, printing it off of the laser printer first. 
some more examples of packaging juicing nets okay so the the second type of uh, computer aided manufacturing system that we use in school is the router system uh, here we've got the TS30 router system which is the one that we've got in school advantages it engraves really nicely gives a nice finish especially when you've got a nice new cutter in in place it can engrave most materials uh, you can actually set the depth um, of the cutter to a particular depth so you can actually create very accurate uh, housings on it which is a, a, a really nice advantage disadvantages it's very noisy uh, if you've got the machine running while you're in uh, a class it's it's quite uh, it can be quite off-putting sometimes uh, it can only do a small depth of cut at a time so if you've got quite a deep housing you have to do lots of shallow cuts to get down to the the depth of cut that you want which slows the machine up a little bit so it takes a while to cut something out you've got to clamp the work down so you need to find some way of clamping it down either with a, a specially made clamp or using double sided tape the machines are quite expensive to buy uh, the TS30 that we've got is um, probably uh, four and a half thousand five thousand pounds now or the equivalent one on the market so they are quite expensive uh, again you need training so you need to uh, you need to train people to use it which in industry that obviously costs money. Some examples leaflet display stand, mirror. So that's the second type of uh, cam system we use in school. The third type is the laser cutting system which you're all familiar with. Advantages, it's nice and quiet, it's very quick you don't need to clamp your work down there's no physical contact between the cutter and the material um, so you can just lay the material down onto the honeycomb bed uh, so no need for clamping down which it, it saves time uh, the 30 watt machine that we've got in school has an A2 size bed which means you can nest work uh, so you can actually uh, use the file add facility on 2D design tools uh, and create a nest of a whole group's work uh, which is a, a, a major advantage gives a nice finish uh, the laser beam when it's all set up correctly and it's all uh, focused properly uh, is accurate to, to 0.1 of a millimetre uh, you can also engrave glass we've got a rotary attachment that goes in the machine so you can uh, engrave glasses uh, which is quite handy for leaving presents when people leave. Disadvantages with the laser system then, uh, very expensive to buy. Uh, the laser cutter itself is about £14,000, so it's uh, a serious investment. It's quite expensive to run. You need to replace the tube um, at the back of the machine every three or four years, depending on how, uh, how much use the machine gets. So you're looking at about... Um, uh, a couple of thousand maybe three thousand pounds every every four years to keep the machine running uh, you need to think about extraction uh, you need uh, uh, two filters on the machine uh, one for the particles and you need a charcoal filter as well uh, so that's uh, that's quite costly uh, it can't apply graphics of course the laser the laser cutter so that could be considered a disadvantage Engraving, when you're doing what we call a raster, uh, can take quite a long time to, to do, which can tie the machine up for a period of time. Uh, you can't get a standard depth of cut like you can on the, on the TS30, um, so you can't do things like housings on it. And again, uh, same as all the others actually, you need to, you need to be trained how to use the machine. So again, in industry, that can cost money getting somebody in to, to train you up on that. Uh, examples. Good for doing casings. We've got a clock there that we do in year eight. 
So that's the laser cutting system. Some more examples. Okay, so this is something that comes up in the exam quite often. What are the advantages uh, and disadvantages of using CAD CAM? So let's look at the advantages first. You can edit your drawings quickly and easily. You can email fi files to customers um, all over the world via uh, email attachments so as soon as you've done a drawing you can email it straight away to, to it to anywhere in the world so if you've got a customer in Australia uh, you can get the drawing to them for approval uh, pretty much instantaneously which is a, a major advantage uh, you can replicate objects again and again once you've got your drawing uh, you can just send it to, to whatever uh, cam system you're using and you can produce identical objects over and over again uh, you've got a high level of accuracy, much higher uh, than you would do if you were making something by hand, of course, especially with the laser cutter where you've got uh, um, the thickness of the cut of 0.1 of a millimetre. Storing work is easy. You don't need a, a large storage area. You can store stuff electronically on hard drive, on disk, on pens, uh, memory sticks. Uh, no workforce is required, so you don't have to have a production line of people sitting making something. Uh, you can actually just have one operator that's going to start and stop the machine, um, and that would uh, be quite cost effective in industry. Uh, and also, you've got a much cleaner environment to work in. Disadvantages of CAD CAM it's expensive to set up. You've obviously got to buy the CAD CAM equipment, you've got to buy the uh, the laser cutter or whatever you're using, you've got to buy the software to run it, you've also got to purchase the license to uh, to be able to use the software. So the setup cost is, is quite extensive. Designing stops at the manufacturing stage. As soon as the, um, the designing has been done on CAD, um, the, uh, the CAM uh, machine, whether it be a laser cutter or the TS30, literally just cuts out what you've drawn. So at that point, you have no control over changing it as it's making it. So if there's something that's not quite right, you either have to stop it or let it continue doing its job. If you've only got one machine, there could be a bottleneck in manufacturing. And again, time is money, especially in industry. Uh, you need specialist servicing on a regular basis. You might need to be trained up on how to use the machine as well as the software. Uh, and that's the end. So that's the, uh, the advantages and disadvantages of using CAD CAM in schools and in industry. Uh, and uh, we talked about the three types of CAD CAM that we use in school. Okay, thank you very much.